Our next question today is if you're going to use an SI for digital transformation or SAP implementation, what are some examples of important questions to ask when you're selecting an SI? Yeah, good question. I mean, it, I think you have a combination of hard and soft types of things you want to evaluate. On the hard skill side of things, it's, you know, how many of your people are certified, how many of them have actually implemented S4 HANA in particular, because you, you'll find a lot of consultants out there that maybe have implemented ECC or one of the older versions of SAP, but at this point that doesn't matter. What matters is do they have experience with, with S4 HANA in implementing it? You also want to know, you know, I would get into not only their S4 HANA experience, but I'd also try to understand their experience with whatever type or version of S4 HANA you're implementing. So if you're a private cloud, for example, or public cloud, make sure that they have experience with that, that you have core team members that the SI is providing that has experience with the specific deployment model because they do look a lot different and there's a lot of trade-offs and tough decisions that need to be made based on whether you're private or public cloud or S4 HANA or if you're on-premise that's okay too but especially if you're a public cloud you want to make sure you have someone who knows that product because there's less flexibility there and it's harder to bridge the gap between what S4 HANA public cloud can do versus what you might need as a business.